Tyler, welcome. Uh, I realized that I didn't introduce myself on the last video, so... Hi, my name is Kevin. I am a homeschool student and street photographer from Taiwan. And I've always wanted to make some photography videos ever since I watched videos of photographers like Samuel Lin Taro, Ulysses Selke, or Faisal Westcott. Although, I don't think making YouTube videos is going to help me get better at photography. I still think it's a great thing to try it out because, uh, well, my main purpose is to learn videography and practice my English speaking and language expression. And lastly, I want to share my passion in photography with you guys and hopefully inspire you to go out and take photos like those who inspired me. So, all right, I am going out to do some street photography today. Let's go. Taichung city now, it's where I live, and this is the central district, but it's not like the central business district though, it was, but it has declined in recent years because newer areas have taken its place, so it's more like a tourist spot now. I will be taking photos here, I will be taking some photos here and maybe guide you through some places. Now, let me talk a little bit about my goal for today because I think sometimes it's good to have a little goal or some kind of idea about what you want to take pictures of rather than just go out and take photos endlessly. So, recently I read a book by David Gibson called The Street Photographer's Manual. It's a very inspiring book that's introduces the readers into the world of street photography. He mentioned a lot of photography techniques in the book, and I think it can be a very good way of practice to try out those techniques. So I'll start with older, which is trying to find older out of a chaotic scenes. To do that, I have to like pay attention to the composition, keep the distracting things out of the frame, and consider how the subjects are placed in the frame to create a balanced image. I will also shoot other stuff too, but my goal is to get at least one photo that I am satisfied with using this technique. So let me put my GoPro on and let's start shooting. The interesting thing about the central district of Taichung is that we can see a lot of mix of the old and the new in this area. During the Japanese colonial period of Taiwan between 1895 and 1945, the government started to develop Taichung into a modern city. And the central district was kind of like the starting point of all the urban development. It was actually one of the most prosperous areas in Taichung at that time. But as the other areas of the city kept on growing, the old infrastructures and buildings here had become outdated. So the area was slowly declined. 
but surprisingly, many people were attracted by the old historic buildings and stories that this area had kept. The central district quickly became a popular tourist spot. Many historic buildings had transformed into coffee shops, museums, and restaurants. People come here to experience the story of Taichung. So the old area had kind of find its place in the new age. So this is the Lichuan Canal. It's one of the main rivers in Taichung, and this is probably where the city was originated because things always started by the rivers, since we need water. I haven't been here for photography before, so let's see how it goes. It didn't work out very well because it's the middle of the day and the sunlight is just a little too harsh. So I might come back later and let's go to the next spot. Right now is the Miyahara Eye Clinic. It was the biggest eye clinic in Taichung during the Japanese colonial period. And guess what? They are selling ice creams there because a pastry company took over the building and turned it into a pastry shop. Now this is a very popular tourist spot. I will do some shootings there because the interior design of the building is very cool.
That is the Taichung Station. It's the former station that was built in 1905, I think. And it's not operating anymore because they have built a new one there to replace it. And I actually think it is very interesting to see the old and new station line up with each other because we can easily see the trace of history and how the place have changed as time goes by so let's start taking photos Okay, I have almost done editing the video. <laughs> it took me so long that my hair had grew longer. Anyway, so obviously I have viewed and edited all the photos I took on that day. It's about time to talk about what I think. I set myself a goal of finding the odor in a chaotic scene. And I said that I have to get at least one photo that fulfills the requirement. I, th I thought it's a pretty simple goal, but it's, it's not really, it's, it's pretty hard to be honest. I, ha I have tried to shoot some complex scenes on purpose, but most of the photos I got were just failed. After viewing all the photos I took, I found that most of them are still something that I am used to taking and very few of them had met my goal which is enough because 
I said at least one photo, right? Now let's look at what I got. There are four photos that I really like. The first one is this photo of, I assume, a homeless person sitting on the sidewalk. And there are two young men here having eye contact with him. And there's another mysterious lady wearing a colorful outfit going the opposite direction. I think it's important for the three people to look at each other because in my opinion, this kind of build a connection between them. And it makes the two young men not just some random passersby, but actually a part of the story in this picture. Uh, I couldn't think of any meaning to this picture but I think it's pretty interesting. Okay. The second one is this photo I took on the escalator at the station. There are two ladies going downstairs. This gentleman with a red backpack is going the opposite. And if you look closely, there's another person over there going downstairs. So the movement in this photo is pretty smooth. And I also really like the simple colors in this image, which are the red backpack, the green thingy, and the blue jacket the girl was wearing. So overall, I think it's a pretty enjoyable picture. Now, the third one is another shot I took on the escalator. It looks pretty generic, but the more you look at it, the more you'll find. For example, there's a mother walking with her daughter. They probably just got off the escalator. Maybe they just arrived in Taichung and they're going home, or maybe they're going on a vacation. And there's a man taking selfie here or maybe he's having FaceTime with his family. And most importantly, look at this body. <laughs> okay, so you see, this isn't something that you're able to enjoy through Instagram on the screen. If this picture is printed very big or, or what if this is a painting, it would be very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The last one we have here is this shot I took in the station. Uh, there's not much to say about it. I think the point of this picture is just the amazing light and shadow that the sun and the architecture had created. The elegant lady here also plays a important part in this picture. So, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I still have a lot to learn and there is definitely a lot of room for improvement. So let's see how it goes. All right, I guess that's it. I am ending the video here. If you like it, Give it a thumbs up, comment what you think, and maybe consider subscribing. Alright, so hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned, I'll see you next time.